Foster care workers skipping court, and that prompted a Hillsborough County judge to blow her stack. That judge threatened contempt if foster care workers don't start showing up. Eight on your side investigator Mark Douglas tells us it was quite a moment in the courtroom. She was not happy. No, she was not. She was mad as a horn and didn't mind saying so. And once again, as we discovered before in our eight on your side investigation of foster care, it all points to a more serious problem. But I am getting quite tired of covering for people that aren't in this courtroom. Last Tuesday, Hillsborough Judge Caroline Teshi Arkin showed up for dependency court, but the private agency caseworkers who manage foster kids with your tax money were nowhere in sight. We've had case after case without case managers in the courtroom. It's been extremely um, frustrating. The missing caseworkers are from Directions for Living. The subcontractor, Eckerd Connects, pays nearly $6.6 .6 million of your tax money to manage 1,246 Hillsborough County foster kids. What would you say about that since they work for you or your subcontractor? Well, we believe in exactly what the judge is saying. If there's a court hearing that we need to have a representative in court ready to answer those questions. Oh, the judge had some questions, all right, starting with how she can force caseworkers to come to court. Maybe I start requiring that the um, case managers become witnesses and that they are subpoenaed by the department. Eckert says the no-show problem started after eight on your side uncovered foster kids spending day and night confined to caseworkers' cars in a Wawa parking lot. Eckert fired the subcontractor responsible and hired a new one, Directions for Living. But Directions is about 30 caseworkers short because so many of them have quit in the recent transition. Yeah, we could do a better job, and we're working to, to smooth out those those kinks and see if we can get people to show up in court when they're supposed to be. By Friday, the word was out. We showed up, and so did the caseworkers, along with their supervisors. At least on that day, skipping court was not a problem. Thanks for being here, everybody. I appreciate it. Eckerd's new foster care chief, Chris Card, tells me Directions for Living is trying to cover all the bases with 47 caseworkers when it should have 77 managing more than 1,200 foster kids, court dates, and all of that paperwork that goes along with it. So I think I know part of the answer. If I'm asking what the solution is, it's hiring more people, but what else? Absolutely. Well, they need they need 20 more people. 20 more people are in training right now. They need 10 more than that. But really, the turnover rate is atrocious. It's always been bad, and lately it's even worse. So getting more people to work as caseworkers, keeping those workers, that's really key to this. But if you don't show Not up for court... Not an easy court, job, I can no, imagine. No, it isn't. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Mark.